This video will demonstrate the difference on end storage configurations of a standard and open array of roll paper can make in the event of a fire. Paper products are present everywhere in our daily lives, from the paper towel used to clean up a spill to the cardboard box used to ship goods. Before paper is turned into the final products that we all use, it is shipped and stored on large rolls. These rolls can be upwards of seven feet or 2.1 meters high and have a diameter over four feet or 1.2 meters. Fires involving storage of roll paper are challenging to protect because the rolls can be easily ignited and produce an intense, fast growing fire with a strong fire plume. There are varying degrees to the hazard as the fire behavior and the challenge of firefighting are dependent on the flammability and absorption characteristics of the paper as well as the storage arrangement. The focus of this video is on storage arrangements, which impact the fire behavior and the ability of an installed automatic sprinkler system to control the fire. Two common storage arrangements are standard array and open array. The standard storage array consists of uniform diameter rolls in vertical stacks that are butted in one direction and separated by any dimension flue space in the other direction. During a fire event, standard arrays tend to limit the flame spread to along the ignition flue. In contrast, the open array has flue spaces of any dimension in all directions. This storage arrangement is usually found where roll diameters are not uniform or in locations that use automated equipment to transport rolls. Flue spaces in all directions allow the fire to spread in all directions as well. This increases the heat release rate, the fire plume strength, and overall fire area. While both array types present a challenge to automatic sprinkler protection because of the fast fire growth and strong fire plume, the open array is a greater hazard and requires stronger fire protection. Two fire tests were conducted with heavyweight roll paper. The test on the left shows a standard array while the test on the right shows an open array. Both tests were conducted with roll paper stored to a height of 26 feet or eight meters under a 60 foot or 18 meter ceiling. The majority of the rolls used were seven feet or 2.1 meters high with a diameter of four feet or 1.2 meters. The top layer of rolls was shorter with a height of 5.3 feet or 1.6 meters. The same sprinkler protection was used for both tests. However, the discharge pressure provided over the standard array was 10 PSI or 0.7 bar less than that provided by the protection over the open array. At one minute and 15 seconds after ignition, the open array fire has breached the top of the array, while the standard array fire has only spread about halfway up the stacks. The open array exhibited faster fire development due to the fire's access to fresh air through the open flues and exfoliation or the unwinding of the paper. The exfoliation process continuously supplies the fire with fresh, dry paper as the outer layer is burned or shed. Exfoliation increases the burning surface area and thus the intensity of the fire. The butted rolls in a standard array limit the exfoliation, decreasing the hazard. At two minutes, two sprinklers have operated over the standard array, whereas four sprinklers have already operated over the open array. The fire in the standard array is still confined to the ignition flue. The open array fire, even with more sprinklers operating, has spread to adjacent flues and covers a much greater area than the fire in the standard array. At three minutes and 30 seconds, the standard array fire has been driven back down and the temperatures at the ceiling have started to decrease. The fire in the open array is still out of control with smoke and steam now obscuring the view of the array. At six minutes and 45 seconds, the open array test remains out of control and was terminated just after seven minutes with 34 sprinklers operating. At this time, the standard array fire is under control with a total of four sprinklers operating. 
the fire in the standard array continued to diminish until the test was terminated at 15 minutes with no further sprinkler operations. In the fire test shown, the fire in the standard array was controlled by four sprinklers, while the fire in the open array remained uncontrolled with 34 sprinklers operating. A stronger sprinkler protection scheme, as recommended in FM Global Property Loss Prevention Data Sheet 821 Roll Paper Storage, would be needed to control a fire in the open array. Roll paper stored on end exhibits rapid fire growth along continuous flue spaces, and the storage arrangement used can impact the fire spread, and thus the fire protection requirements. Without the intervention of an adequate automatic sprinkler system, a fire can quickly become out of control. The standard array on end storage arrangement reduces the hazard when compared to open array storage by limiting the fire spread and therefore the open array on end storage arrangement requires a greater level of fire protection to handle the larger fire expected in these arrays. 